What's going on YouTube? I'm just back out in the garage today. Uh, I'm going to do some work on the Ninja again. Uh, in today's video I think that I'm going to remove the rear tire and I'm also going to look at removing the turn signals on the rear of the bike as well and there's some plastic that I want to cut to maybe look a little bit cleaner. I don't need them anymore so it's a track bike it's never going back on the road so I can cut some plastic stuff off of it. It's had its life on the street so whatever I do to it now is it's going to be the end of its life. Um, yeah, so in today's video I'm going to get the rear tire off and i got to get those into the shop so I can get uh, new rubber put on the front rim and the rear rim and I also got to get the forks in to get the fork seals replaced and it's going to take a little while to get that done. Um, so with that being said, let's get into the video. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, my editing team, I mean me, uh, someone left me a note and it says like and subscribe. Um, if you like my content and you want to see more, uh, it would be really great if you could like and subscribe to my channel. It uh, inspires me to make more videos and I love making content so I'd like to keep doing that for you guys. So with that being said, let's get into it. Alright, well in order to get the rear tire off the bike, um, you're going to need a 32 mil socket for this uh, lug right here and you're also going to need a 12 mil wrench in order to get the chain adjuster screws loose or bolts loose um, that's specific to this bike uh, doesn't mean that it'll necessarily be the same for your bike um, so to get that off i have to take this cotter pin out and that slides out kawasaki likes to put this cotter pin in here and i mean you can reuse it a couple times but you might want to get another one next time you install it because they get weaker every single time you bend the metal um, so yeah, you just have to get this axle nut off and then the axle slides through. Um, on this bike, I also think that I have to remove the rear brake caliper as well. Um, I'm not sure if I have to, so I'm just going to anyway. Um, I mean, I haven't removed the rear tire on this bike before, so I'm just going to remove it just in case. Um, so yeah, I'll go from there. Um, what I was talking about with the rear um, and the turn signals is I was thinking about taking off the turn signals and then keeping them for whatever and then they have this plastic piece right here and it's hollow inside right so what I was thinking about doing is just taking a Dremel and cutting along here just to make it a little bit more flush with the bike right um, I don't need them on there anymore because the bike's not going on the street so whatever I do to it, it's fine um, I just think it'll clean up the aesthetic of the bike a little bit make it look a little more cleaner um, I don't need it to hold my license plate anymore so Get rid of the things I don't need. It's so heavy, but cutting that amount of plastic off isn't going to make much of a difference anyway. So, yeah, so I'm just going to get onto that and, uh, yeah, go from there. To remove, the, uh, to remove this here, I'm just going to grab my trusty uh, wire strippers here and just straighten out the cotter pin and uh, get them lined up. And hopefully, the, uh, hopefully it just slides right out. I'm sure it will. Put that there. Yep, came out nice and easy. I'll just get rid of that, buy a new one next time, and then uh, just take your breaker bar and loosen off the uh, loosen off the axle nut. I swear when it comes to left and right I get messed up every single time. Okay, to the front of the bike. Also, I need to loosen off the uh, chain tensioning nuts here. The front one holds it all tight and together, and then this one here. but the tire should go forward when I get the axle too so and just do the other side do the same thing on the other side maybe just make it a little bit looser all right well that's a little bit looser um, I wish I had a mallet to be able to pound that through um, I don't want to use a hammer but I might try and find something that uh, I can use to tap on the end of it or maybe even use the nut not too sure all right, well, I got the rear axle nut off and I got the rear chain tensioning uh, bolts loose and 
I actually don't think that I need to take off the rear tire. I just need to get the axle out. Um, so I got this little piece of uh, garden hose thing that I can just put on the end so I can hit it with a hammer. I don't have a rubber mallet, so I don't want to wreck the threads on the axle when I pound it through. And then so as I hit it on this side, it should just slide out on the other side. And then I can push the tire, you know, front and back a little bit, right? Once the axle's out, it'll be able to go forward and it should just drop down and I can get the chain off. So I hope it all works out. We'll try pounding it with this little garden hose thing here. It's the only thing I could find that so it won't wreck the threads and um, we'll try that out. Might not work, might work. We'll find out. All right, well, hopefully this works. We'll try and smack it out with this. Ow, don't hit your fingers. <laughs> Definitely don't hit your swing, swing arm with a hammer either. It's actually working a lot better than I thought it was going to. I know I said I didn't want to do this, but the threads are basically all the way in. All right, maybe if I hold the weight of the tire, I can shimmy it out the rest of the way. Yep, and then she slides. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so that just slides forward now. Yep, I got the slack on the chain I was looking for. Just loosen that off. And it seems that the rear tire just slides out like that. Now, the next big task is trying to remember everything that falls on the ground and where it went. Alright, cool. Well, we got the rear tire off. Great success. There's the shaft. It's all lubed. All right, so there's the rear tire off. That's pretty awesome. I got the shaft out or the, the axle out. Um, it's probably a good idea to put some lube on that when uh, I go to put it back in. Just put some, get it all greased up. And uh, yeah, so I didn't have to take off the rear caliper, which was nice. Um, it just has this little groove that it slides in and allows the tire to go front and back. Um, and then this little tiny uh, spacer was on the left hand side, so between the swing arm and the, and the bearing. So we'll put that back in properly when we're done. All right, well, we got the rear tire removed off the bike. Um, so that was one task that needed to get done. Uh, I got the tires and the rims sent in and I'm gonna get the new tires put on. And I also got the forks send in with the rims at the same time so hopefully I'll be getting those back soon. Um, I said at the beginning of the video that I was going to possibly work on getting the blinkers removed but I think I'm going to save that until the next video. Um, I'm going to get them taken off and then I was going to cut along right here and here and just remove that plastic that's right here because it just clean up the clean up the back of the bike but I think I'm going to leave that for the next video and hopefully I can maybe find a few more things that I can remove. Um, I want to maybe remove the headlights and put some mesh where the headlights were, put some plastic in there to, because I don't need the headlights on the track either and the, the headlight assembly is actually quite heavy so it would be really nice to be able to maybe remove that as well. So um, yeah, so we got the rear tire removed and in the next video as I said I'm going to work on uh, the blinkers and look at taking apart the headlight assembly to help reduce some weight. Alright, well if you made it this far in the video, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you like my content. Uh, there'll be many more videos to come, um, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace!